So you did bring up that idea that as a tracking engineer, that song isn't yours. Right. Uh, obviously, you're a part of creating the song. And I think that's a big topic when it comes to the music business. We're always talking about equity, especially yeah. beat makers. We always want our split. We always want our you know, royalty points or underlying composition ownership, all of that. Um, how does that work with engineering and your experience? I know everything just really depends on, on the individual situation, but in terms really, of equity, it really, it really depends completely on the situation and the individual. I, I sometimes am completely work for hire and I don't own shit. You know what I mean? And I do what the client wants me to do and that's cool. And then sometimes I own everything and I'm the engineer and I say what to do. And then sometimes it's in between. Sometimes I add a keyboard line or a drum line and now I'm entitled to some of the publishing or some royalties and, but they're still kind of the boss. And it, it's, there's a, a huge um, gamut of, of situations that can arise where you are in complete ownership and you are in zero ownership. And you kind of have to be open to that, I think, to be successful. If you want to own everything that you do, it's going to be slow. It's going to be slow. And that, as a producer, I'm that guy. I don't really want to do shit if I'm not going to own it or if I'm not going to have kind of complete-ish control. Obviously, anytime you're collaborating with someone, um, you're not going to be in complete control. It should never be a dictatorship. But as a producer, I want to be that guy. And as a result of that, I have I only place the records that I want to place, but I'm okay with that because I make money doing other things. Um, as an engineer, you you probably can't be as stubborn on ownership because you're you're not going to own everything, and nor should you be entitled to. Honestly, I mean, sometimes as an engineer, you're only there for your technical prowess, and sometimes the client even has the technical prowess; they just don't want to do the shit. So you're not really entitled to ownership. That being said, if you write a melody line or write some lyrics or arrange the song or produce the vocals, you can and should look to get some type of profit share, whether it's a very low percentage or whatever. Even if it's just the credit alone, you should ask for it and you should you should uh, have the courage to ask for it, although that can be tricky sometimes. Yeah, how do you muster up the courage to have those uncomfortable conversations? You got to just do it. You got to rip the bandaid off and just do it. And if it doesn't work out, you got to be okay with what may result from that. You know, like if they say, go fuck yourself, but I still want you to be my engineer. Cool. You got to be okay with that. Or they say, yeah, man, of course you deserve that. And then you get whatever you ask for. I mean, there'll probably be some negotiation, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, you gotta just do it. You gotta do it. And you gotta, you actually have to prove your value too. I mean, that's the thing that the, the creator mantra that we've been preaching rightfully so for the past few years, I mean, when I say we, I mean, anybody that's kind of in this media space, um, it doesn't apply to everyone. It really does. Like everybody doesn't deserve a piece necessarily of equity of ownership. Cause with that becomes the right to make decisions and turn down decisions and everyone shouldn't necessarily have that 